updates to the frame generator environment inside of Inventor 2021. There's been quite a big revamp. The new frame generator tools have been moved to the panel environment, which is why I'm showing you this in dark mode because Inventor 2021's frame generator now supports dark mode. So this is the new environment. And before we jump into that, I want to just show you some of the quick changes between 2020 and 2021. First off, let's jump into 2020. What you'll notice in 2020 is our old interface. Trim to frame command in 2021 now has a much better name. It's called corner joint. And that makes more sense. It's easier for new users to pick up on. So first off, at the top, you'll see that we have presets. There's currently no presets selected. And before I show you the presets, I wanna very quickly jump into the settings and show you where these are stored. So in our application options, we have a presets option and a file. And this is where all of those presets will get saved along with your whole presets and any, any other presets that you start seeing from these panel commands. The other thing to note while we're in here is that there's some file naming options. In 2021, we have full control over what we wanna call our frames in this dialogue, and we can even add in additional properties if we'd like to. So let's jump back into the interface. First off, what we can do is we can jump in and we can choose a frame size and we can then add that as a preset. We can rename these presets as well. And once that's saved, it's added to our list. If there's any presets we don't like, we can go to our settings and we can just delete the current one, whatever we've chosen. And those are removed from the list. We can also rename them as well. Something I quite like is you can use the property eyedropper to pick on a frame That'll load those specific settings. And once we've done that, we can add that to a preset as well. So let's look at placing a frame. Click on an edge. And you'll notice that when we mouse over edges now, we actually start seeing the orientation in a little tooltip preview, which is really nice. Let's just have a quick look at the new zoom tools. So first off, if we click on this button, it'll actually zoom us to the current orientation, which is really useful. So you'll remember in the old interface, we used to have these buttons that we could click to change our orientation. So I could still affect my placement by clicking on the edges. We also have these grips available and I can now rotate my frame around. They go in five degree increments, as you can see on the left over here. So as I grab that, that will rotate in five degree increments. And obviously I can put in an exact figure and I can also drag my frames up and down and this will give me my offsets so I can see in real time what my changes look like before I commit. And obviously I can type in figures as well to set those. We can also reuse a frame member. So if I click on reuse, choose the frame member I want to reuse, and then it's just a case of selecting where I want to put it. Now, because we've mitered this component, you'll see that this frame over here is coming in upside down. So I have a little flip ends to toggle it and then I might want to drag that around 90 degrees so that the mitre comes through. So we'll apply that one and then add in one on this end and again I might want to do something similar so we can go through and flip that and we can then rotate it over 90 degrees and the last one over there just needs to be rotated okay so let's have a look at trimming back members to a curved surface as before slight interface change but the workflow is exactly the same but what we'll notice now is that when we trim to that edge we now have a straight cut. So let's have a look at the component. If we open that up, that edge is perfectly straight. Next up, we have notches. So our notch profiles have a slight change in the 2021 release. If we have a quick look at our notch tool, you'll see that it's really intuitive. So we've got blue and yellow showing up over here. So blue is the frame members that we want to notch. And our notch tool is going to be in yellow. Which will be this guy over here. We get a bit of a preview. Now what's interesting is we have the ability to edit a custom notch profile. This actually lets us go in and we can edit any of these numbers so we can affect how the frame is trimmed back. And there's even a help file to take us to creating our own custom profile. We can always flip that back to the basic, say okay. 
and we can see that that's nicely trimmed back and behaving as expected. So that's it. 2021 is some great enhancements to the frame generator.